Real quick, I'd like to give a massive shout out to all the homies on Patreon who chose to support the cult and help keep the lights on. If you want more information on how to support the channel and get your name up here at these fucking chads, check out the video description below. All right. Yo, what's up, pumpers? Now that all the raid guides and progress is done, I can take a break from them and focus on some Warlock stuff. Starting with something I get asked a ton about, and that's gearing. Well, I think we all know what big pieces we want, but we also know that it might be a while until they drop and that we win them over the many other casters that want our loot, right? What about in the meantime? Well, maybe this will help a little bit. I'm going to go over my thought process of when I'm gearing in the tier six. The goal is to help you maybe know what angle to take with gearing, all the new gems and whatever else, and also give you an idea of what gear to aim for. This is what my list and what I'm personally doing. If you have questions or whatever, hit me in the comments. So yeah, let's get started. So I'll be using two 70 upgrade sheets for this. Our starting point right here and then our ending point, okay? Our starting point will be more or less phase two best in slot. I know not everybody will have all this. Like I know many people don't have vestments and stuff like that. And those guys I say, don't trip. T6 has better loot anyway, okay? I'll go over alternative for the slots as well. As for the ending gear, this will be more or less phase three best in slot and exactly what I will be aiming for when it's all said and done. Once again, I know we don't have all this gear, but hey, you never know, you might get lucky. So first off, let me try to get this more in uh, easily accessible little, uh, uh, yeah, go here, yeah, then click this one, yep. Figuring it out, boys, we're figuring it out. We're gonna make this a little bit wider here. And then we can go here, yeah, it looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna have the one that we're working on on the left and I'm gonna have the right so you guys can see both of them, okay? So first off, something you can do literally right now that I've already, this is about the only thing I've ever done. So this is literally pretty much what I'm still wearing besides I, I have put the new gyms in here, which is what we're talking about is the new gyms. As you guys know, new gyms came out. Also, as you know, these gyms are fucking expensive as shit, okay? On my server, Feralina, these gyms can vary from 400 gold to 600 gold, which is insane. Of course, something that you can do to help with this is trash farming in Mount Hydral. On the more populated servers, there are many pugs that trash farm for many things. One of them being uncut gems. If you have extra time on your hands, see if you can wiggle your way into one of them and you might get lucky with some uncut. Other than that, unless your guild is supplying them for you, you're stuck gold farming. So as for the gems, the first thing that I, okay. So first off the major gem changes right here are these blue ones right here <clears throat> that are going to go to gold. They're going to move up the six spell power, six stamina are going to move up. Well, that's actually a glowing Tanzanite. They're going to be glowing. You have one glowing Tanzanite, right? And you have a glowing night's eye somewhere. And this is both just to make your meta live, right? Cause you need the two blues for the meta. So for the two blues, I use a glowing Tanzanite and a glowing Night's Eye, right? So both of those will be upgraded. Well, I guess this one doesn't really matter because that's six and six. Actually, yeah, I wouldn't buy it. It's only one, one stamina difference. Um, I personally <clears throat> did not get the blue ones right away because of the decent. They were 400 gold for one of these, right? Or for a Night's Eye. 400 gold to replace this Night's Eye with this, which is one spell power. So, and I need two of them, right? So I didn't want to pay 800 gold for literally two spell power when these will drop down. These are going to plummet in price any day. These will never be more than hundred gold. I don't, I'm, I'm still shocked that, it, I mean, I'm not shocked. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not shocked that it's that expensive, but it's like kind of crazy. Cause this is really not that it's look, it's literally one guys. So I actually just skipped that one, but what I, and I also skipped this one as well. The direct upgrade for these ones are the potent, uh, where's it at? These ones are crit ones are the potent, um, where that potent, 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 right here, potent power stone. This is literally one crit rating and one spell power. That's the only difference on those. So four crit, five spell damage on the potent nobles. And if you go up to the potent pyres, those are five and six. So it's a one upgrade. The thing about that is those are also 400 something gold. I don't know that I haven't checked today, literally as in it's 1 30 PM my time. I haven't checked since I've been up. I've just been working on this video, but they were for three, 350, I think it was. So that's 700 gold for two spell power and two crit. That one I'm more on, I didn't get it yet, but that one I'm more on the line of almost getting because like it's not that it's two spell power and two crit, which is kind of sweaty, but for 700 gold, I don't really want to know. So I'm hoping that those drop down. I think those will drop down. I'm not sure about these. Cause to be honest with you, I didn't run these gyms back in uh, private service. Cause I was playing incorrectly. And I didn't know these were bis. Um, so I'm not sure if these are going to drop down. I think they would, cause they're not power upgrades, but I definitely wouldn't tell you guys to spend it if it's three 400 gold a pop unless you really want it okay once again it's two spell power total for the two gyms combined it'd be about 700 gold on my server and then uh two for a two spell power two cricket now what i did replace and what i suggest everybody do replace is these ones right is well oh, all colors yep figure it out there you go all these crimson ones these crimson ones are 100 percent worth it i think they are huge they are expensive like we already know they're expensive when i got them there were 600 gold a pop Remember, if you can't afford them, they will drop down a little bit. But the thing is, I don't think that these are going to drop down much because these are super bis for a lot of people. And the, that's, the, it's a good upgrade. That's a straight. That's going straight. And I did. I replaced this on all my pieces. Right. So all right now I'm still wearing vestments. If you're not wearing vestments, you're probably wearing T4 chest, which is fine. You're probably still wearing T4 chest, which will connect. Put the you can put them in there. I wouldn't really. I don't know if I would put three. I mean, 
yeah if you don't have vestments you're probably wearing robe and then you're running you know your two your two set you're connecting the two set with the shoulders for t4 and you got probably you know any one of the many pairs of gloves on right here okay so uh i would i don't know that's up to you if you have the gold to spend on it it is worth upgrade because that's three spell power per that's nine spell power you're getting on the three gems which is a that's a de decent chunk i mean some people might not say it is but i think it is so i once yeah so i replaced all the reds that's all that's all i did okay i'm not gonna worry about the other ones that big of a deal because like I said, they're expensive, man. And I and I am sweaty and I like that the blues are one spell power and you know, one spell power, one crit on the other ones. It's just, bro, I'm not about to spend what was that, sixteen hundred total, something on those little gems for a total of nothing. Miss me with that. All right, next up. So another thing that you can do literally right now is well, Mount Hydro farming. You can be, like I said, Mount Hydro farming not only for um gems and shit, but for the ring your ring this band of whatever this thing starts off really low at the band of eternity where's the bottom one is this the bottom one i think this is the bottom one yeah. yeah 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 this is the bottom one right you get this one and then you go do mount hydro trash farm and you rep you know you you can do the trash farm so you can do the trash farm for anybody that doesn't know without spoiling your lockout as long as you go in there and you do not do touch the first boss don't do anything to the first boss don't kill him don't do it what happens is you guys go in there you kill waves you reset you do it again you just chain repeat it it will not mess up your lockout if you do this okay so don't worry about missing your lockout for it just be really careful about the bosses you know, just go in there clear some trash waves and they'll reset every time now when you do this you get rep for it obviously not rep as you go this is a friendly ring it upgrades to honored and then after honored it goes to revered right here you see and then lastly is exalted which gives it a your offensive spells have a chance to hit increase or to increase your spell damage by 95 for 10 seconds this is actually a pretty good ring a goddamn good ring really if you think about it look at it in comparison to to uh, i wouldn't use it over band because i need band oh it's already on um so you can do this right now and i would just replace it with whatever your crit ring is right here i don't know some people aren't using some people aren't using hit rings right here they're using a crit ring which is completely fine i think some people a lot of people are running uh ruby writ, ruby drape and then dropping this and putting a crit ring here that's fine but either way i'm saying is get this crit ring like you want it right and this is something that you can do in the meantime outside of raid just like the gyms there's a couple of the first things we're going over here are things that you can do right now by yourself without any help from the guild all right next up uh a couple more things that you can do right now are bracers and okay well, let's, let's talk about bracers first bracers of nimble thought this is a first thing we're gonna, something else you can do right now is pick up the bracers of nimble thought either buy it off the auction house or get the pattern yourself from mount hydro trash farming it's about two to three thousand gold right now on my server if you bought it crafted and about two thousand gold if you buy the mats yourself the map prices seem to be going down but the most expensive mat you need is hearts of darkness and you need four of them and i think those prices are going to start regulating here in a little bit but in any matter these are really good for single target and for seed set so get them as soon as you can so i'm gonna talk about weapons next well before we talk about weapons i just want to say skull obviously is what i would put as prior for number number one prior for like your loot right um as you see over here but i just want to talk about weapons because weapons are pretty spicy it's not really like you it, for trinkets we'll talk about it in a second too but are, we're not like oh do we use skull or this or you know it's skull like no matter what if you get skull fucking run skull right but weapons it's more like i get it all the time do i want to run zardium or toc or and uh chronicles and to be honest i'm i don't know i don't care i want zardium personally because i know that no matter what before the fact before an issue comes up where i need a main hand and offhand i'll have another main hand offhand we have five months until sunwell at minimum right i think and that's speculation by the way but I, there's no way that in five months you can't get another toc uh or, or, you know a pvp blade goddamn za drops a haste blade at some point it's not 259 spell power but it's still nice there's no way that you can't get another blade right and badges will come out in aisle two with another blade it's really shitty with no haste but whatever 247 spell power i think it'll show it right here actually See if I can find it. Pause this. Doo -doo. Oh, there's the haste one from ZA. Obviously, it's not as good as the other one. And then the other one is doo -doo, right there. Okay. These aren't the best blades. These aren't going to be as good as TOC. That's because these are actually raid weapons. Raid weapons are always going to be better, right? Even better than the PvP weapons. But in terms of weapon, without wasting a whole bunch of time here, get whatever one you can get your hands on. Next, a trinket. We can talk about it. We know skulls. Want. We know we want skull right away. Okay. So I'm going to put Zardium here because that's actually, uh, yeah, I'm putting Zardium here because that's what I want. And I'm going to go over here and put Skull. Skull, we know. We just talked about it. It's Abyss. Don't worry about it. Like, if you get it, you get it. Congratulations. Abyss. Bake that shit into your macro for CDs and pump. Okay. Outside of that, for a second trinket, Mark of the Champion, obviously, is the one we want if you have it. If you have Mark of the Champion, every single time there's anything that has undead or demons, you should have this shit on. It gives you 85 spell power. Now, if you're like me and, you know, you don't have it or it's a boss that's not an undead or demon, I'm going to be using, hopefully, it works, first off. If Dark Moon Trinket works. We don't know if it works. Okay if this works i will be using it um uh, let me put it on this side too dark moon if this works by works i mean okay if you see what it does each time you land a harmful spell on the opponent you gain eight spell power and this stacks 10 times for a total of 80 spell power which is the same as a flask 
This is especially big for Warlocks because we are way better than any other class in the game and fuck mages. Warlocks can Hellfire to not only stack this trinket up before boss pulls to have that 80 spell power, but also mid fight when you're out of range of hitting the boss. You can just do a tick of Hellfire to keep the trinket up. This allows you to have a permanent 80 spell power at all times. The issue is we don't know if Hellfire will stack it. It did on private servers and trusted sources said that they did it back in the day in OG, you know, OG TBC. However, there's some people in Wowhead comments saying otherwise. In any matter, I've already got the full deck ready to turn in and I'll be camped out of the Darkmoon Fair the second it comes up and on Monday and I will let you guys know immediately. For those of us without Mark the Champion, this trinket, even if it cannot be stacked up with Hellfire, will still be best in slot for the few fights where we can keep it up the stacks full time. Whether it's worth buying ahead of time is completely up to you. I chose to gamble on it because I think it will work as intended. This doesn't mean that you have to and don't flame me if it ends up not working. The cards for this deck on the auction house aren't that expensive yet. I expect the prices to skyrocket if this Hellfire stacks it, as many Warlocks will want this. Um, as that run with the scroll, if this does not work or, you know, if this does not work or you don't have it and we don't end up not running it, Quags is going to be still amazing to do. Quags is still bananas, right? It's still haste proc scales up you with because it's haste. It's good. You can run it with it. You can also run icon still with it until we get hex, which is going to come from ZA, right? Um, just go but ultimately back and forth in terms of if you don't have just why we're here, just talking about this in terms of pretend you don't have school and you're just kind of like, well, what trinket should I run? I would run. What I do is I run icon. And then I run more than often than not, I run icon dark iron. Okay. The only time I run quags is when I know 100% throughout a fight. I will, n I, no matter pretty much you want your quags to proc. It's a fight where quags can proc. Why am I not over it? You want to fight where quags can proc. And no matter what, you will not waste that, but you will not waste that proc that the 320 haste rating for five, for six seconds. Like uh, if you can imagine Supremus, how that could be a bad fight. Let's say you get a proc right before phase two. Or uh, Nash, you get a proc. I mean, more often than not, so Nash is a Nash is a tiny window for it, right? Obviously, because of title burst, that's it. But imagine your quag proc before title burst or so on. Versus like <clears throat> blood boil, where you can stand there and pump forever the whole time. You know what I mean? Or you know, name and many 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 bosses where you can stand at winter chill pumping the whole time. I mean, I guess the ice bolt you're fucked. You get it. You get it. Fights where I can get full hundred percent value to quags, I'm gonna use quags. Fights that I can't get or any kind of fucking slight mess up on that, I'm running double icon or anything like a good example of this is. Blood Boil, Fell Rage, we're all lusting, popping cooldowns. I love the double trinket. Anything that you can, I like controlled. I would, if I had gun in my head, I would choose to run these over at Quags nine times out of 10, bro. I love it. Okay, next up, four set. I just want to talk about four set for a second. Okay, so four set is very important. All right. Um, when it comes to four set, each of these pieces as them as themselves are big upgrades. All right, we know that. The thing about them is I am not going to, I'm not going to drop, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to run two T4 two piece forever. Pretty much, not literally forever, but I'm going to run the thing about them is though, I am going to, obviously if this is hands down, you want the four set from this is broken, right? Right here. It's four set. It increases your damage from your shadow bolt by 6%. This is actually broken. You want this. It's crazy. On top of that, each of four set, each of the four pieces you'd be wearing currently, whatever you are wearing will be power upgrades for stats. The thing about that is I'm not dropping this to this T4 two piece. I personally am not going to drop the T4 two piece until I get the four set. Okay. So I will immediately, if I could, if I could have any control in this at all, I'd immediately go hood. Right. And then I'm meeting go pants. Where's pants? Where's pants? Where's pants? Now, when it goes to going hood or pants, I'm going like this no matter what. Right. And then when I get gloves, I'm holding them or cloak or I mean, uh, not chest, but uh, shoulders. I'm holding them. Right. I'll hold them until I get all four. Once I get all four, I'm slapping them on. That's how I plan to do it. Um, that's what I like to do. So the only thing and one more thing I will add, though, is a lot of people didn't get vestments. Okay. So, and a good alternative for this is uh, we have a warlock and our get warlocks and our guild. They don't have vestments. This is what they're doing. So I would give them chest. You're going to have them run T six chests and then give them at elements. Not, I'm not saying you got to prior them elements, but you know, at some point, give them elements, candled elements. This is another good setup. Um, this, my sim is actually higher than this than the other one, but not by much. Um, you're sure you guys have been simming too. So just let me know what you think, but that's if you don't have vestments. If you have vestments, I, I have vestments, so I'll probably just run vestments and then run the four set, obviously. But I'm like a couple warlocks in the guild, have them go backwards because I know not everybody has vestments, and that's a good one, especially if you're still running T4 chest or whatever you're running in the meantime. All right, so now we're back with the four set that I plan on running because I have vestments. Okay, so uh, I put gems in them for the gems. It's the same meta, it's the same meta, it's the same red, red, and the red. Okay, that's what I have in all these. That's why I'm going to be putting them all. Those are the best gems, and I love them. Okay, 
all right next up we can talk about rings okay obviously this is the best rings to get these are the two you want to get the issue with this is all the casters a ton of people want this right so unless you're trash farming or gd gdkps or just getting really lucky with loot or i don't know how you guys are doing it and you need two of them you're gonna need that middle ground and then that middle ground for me always is this one it's always been this ring right here and then i've always used the hit ring here but i replaced the band of cat i replaced this uh crimson fury off a of mag with the ring of captured souls off an of this i really like this ring this is actually a power upgrade for stat wise and it's just a nice placement for hit until the meantime if you don't need hit like if you're running this backwards where you're still running ruby cloak and then obviously just put a crit ring in here it's not no big deal no big deal this is remember this is my gear i'm using fucking hit there okay i actually end up using a hit ring for a while i even went there into the za ring which is more hit on it i mean uh which is another hit ring that really good one but it's like a hit haste ring and uh, i ran this for a while next but that's down the road that's when ZA comes out so in the meantime just run ring of captured until you get both of these right next up i'd really like the boots you know i like the boots i feel like it's a big power upgrade in comparison to the other last slots because the last slots like neck and build aren't that big of a deal so nothing really to say here on these boots besides getting them and this is actually what i put on my other blue gym in okay so i go here put here put a red put a red in here uh yeah and then i put a blue and the blue is going to be of course the glowing shadow okay my other blue is going to be in my belt which we can replace right now i'm not in a hurry to replace it because this is my least of my concerns but i'll be using anatheron's noose my other blue goes in here with another red And then next we can get a cloak whenever we get the cloak which i'm gonna go with cloak of illiterary council as you can see uh the haste cloak is very nice and i would love the haste cloak i'm not gonna fight my healers for it for one and for two i want it for seed set i'll be using cloak for single target and shroud for seed set personally if you can get this it's beautiful get it now either of these are amazing and then lastly is the neck oops wrong neck lastly is that neck that's the only neck you got to clean it up with okay so yeah there you go there you have it that's my uh route to here i know i probably talked a million miles an hour and uh it was confusing so uh hit me up on stream or um in the fucking comments bro we can figure this shit out also go to the warlock discord they know way more than i do bro they're pretty cool they're pretty cool in there they're wild but they're pretty dope you know go hang, hang out there they have some real maths on the numbers and shit like that other than that here you go boys have a good fucking day and uh peace